What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Anthony's Takes. We're joined by Santino. Yes, and I know it's been a while we've uploaded anything, but what brings us back is this Morbius teaser trailer. Jared Leto. You remember who Jared Leto is, right? No. The Joker that was in Suicide Squad. Looks like he didn't do too well with DC fans, so he jumped over to Marvel. And he is Morbius, one of the most, I think when I was a kid, I always overlooked Morbius as one of Spider-Man's villains. He's and more like a ghost of the villain. Blade, because he's a vampire, and Blade is a vampire hunter. I could, I could, I've seen a couple of reactions, well not reactions, but articles about the connection between this is made by Sony there's rumors that are saying it is somehow intertwined with the MCU even though Venom wasn't intertwined with the MCU but uh, not sure what to think let's see what this has in store for us He's the villain for this. Probably. You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to the disease, you'll find it. Hmm. I should have died years ago. Uh, Still here is not to fix this. But, uh, um, I have a rare blood disease. And I'm not out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something. What is it? That's not exactly legal. I don't want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. Okay, we <laughs> we just got our answer. The Vulture, aka Adrian Toomes. Wow. Okay. So. Whoa. Now let's go back. I think I saw a picture of Spider-Man in the background. Definitely a long trailer for not much. Look, see Spider-Man? Kind of look looks like the Sam Raimi. Yeah, which is weird. 
Why would they have a picture of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man and they have Adrian Toomes from the MCU version of Spider-Man? Maybe they're just... And some other, there's graffiti over it that says murderer <laughs> over Spider-Man. Hmm. Interesting. So, wow. So Adrian Toomes is involved with Morbius. Which, you know, <coughs> bless you, bless you. Very odd to even make a Morbius movie. But hey, maybe they can intertwine it to introduce, <coughs> introduce Blade again. Well, back since into the it. six. Yeah. Well, I don't that's think, that's probably I don't think why. Morbius was never one of the members of Sinister Six. I don't ever recall Morbius being in the Sinister Six, but uh, but there have been many, many, very, very different variations throughout the years of the Sinister Six, all kinds of different people. So he may very well have been part of the Sinister Six that, you know, I just wasn't aware of. So, uh, wow. So Adrian Toomes is in it. Probably that's and this just, is just a coincidence. Cameo. What do you mean? Like a a coincidence that this actor, is, Michael Keaton, is in it? No. I think he's playing the vulture in this movie. Um, how, how can he? How can he not be? So, but the next question is, okay. How do you get out This of is in the same universe as Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Yeah, but how do you get out of jail? I don't know. Or maybe what if this is a prequel to uh, Homecoming? How is it a prequel? Even though in in the background it says Spider Man is a murderer, so it's oh, as, so it's like a oh, sequel to uh, yeah. Far From Home. Yeah, so maybe he got out of prison already. Yeah, or he, or got, or he, he got, just, got broken out, or he escaped yeah, like, somehow. Maybe like. Uh, well, we don't know how long he was sentenced to be in jail when he was in jail. Uh, but he was in jail with Matt Gargan, who was. Uh, Scorpion, maybe they broke out together. I don't know. So, let us know down in the comment section what you guys think. I mean, will this? I mean, Venom Two is coming out, directed by Andy Serkis. Do you think Spider-Man will be in Venom Two? I don't think so. Probably, maybe. I mean, this is a Sony-produced movie, and they've got, you know. They've got someone from an MCU movie in this movie, so... And of course, there's a connection to Spider-Man. The first Venom movie didn't have a connection to Spider-Man at all. Does Sony still own Spider-Man? Partly. They are still... They're st they still made a deal for Tom Holland to be in the MCU movies. So maybe they struck a deal to where Sony can also make movies with the MCU characters. So may or may not see uh, Tom Holland in Venom 2 or because the first Venom movie had no no indication at all that it was related to uh, MCU Spider-Man or any type of Spider-Man so maybe because uh, Rock or whatever Venom was in uh, San Francisco true yeah so but you know they they pretty much had a totally different uh, origin story for Venom than what could have been if they were, you know, to introduce Spider-Man to the suit first or you know, what we're all used to seeing in comics and cartoons. So let us know down in the comment section what you guys think. If you enjoyed our reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share if you did not. You're mean. <laughs>